what a lot of people want to see is uh, just Stoppo against Elder. I'm really curious on why uh, why Joel is uh, is afraid to come out and fight. I don't know. All right, I'm ready. Let's get the show. All right, Elder, you good? Let's commence my play. Okay, stated there, Chronic is taking up the S18. Once again, Chronic is doing the stall tactic. I'm hoping I won't follow that uh, twice. Yeah. We'll learn not to follow him. It, it goes better that yeah, way. Yeah. It's a good way you'll have to... You'll have to do that once in battle day to remember not to follow something like that. Hey. <laughs> Hey, whatever works. Got a quick uh, couple comments and stuff. Um, Cracker says Pinoch is playing a game, a different game, and uh, Elder's not worth his time. And it looks like Gestapo. Xfire tells me he's uh, in-game playing some Star Wars Empire at War. Oh, come on. Chronic took some hits, but Elder is nowhere to be seen. He's uh, recovering. <laughs> he's trying to put him out of bounds. <laughs> and so we're going to dogfight, or are we just going to try to get to the moon all day? <laughs> hey, I'm trying to get behind you. Moons. Whatever works. Thing handles like shit. I gotta do something. Oh, he admits it. I admit it. <laughs> it voids missiles pretty good. I'm trying to slow maneuver. Oh, <laughs> there we go. Scores it. All right. All right. Here. Take a chance to. Run off our sponsor. Keep talking about headset. Yep, Vigilant is sponsored by Sennheiser. Sennheiser at SennheiserUSA.com or Sennheiser.com. The acknowledged world leader in microphone technology, RF, wireless, and infrared sound transmission, headphone transducer technology, and most recently in the development of active noise cancellation. We're also sponsored by Xfire at xfire.com, the instant messenger for gamers. Know what your buddies are playing, where they're playing it, and join in with one click. Free download now at xfire.com. Gaming simplified. And finally, we are sponsored by Systex at sys-text.com, featuring web voice com, game server hosting, and dedicated servers, and also providing the streaming servers that we deliver our broadcast through. Built by the people, for the people. Check them out at sys-text.com. We got a, uh, oh, they're going to challenge. Good luck. <laughs> I'm giving them a run for money at least. That makes it two enough. I think something that could be improved is the air to ground too. When, uh, when one jet is camping another, I mean the JK-10 can put down the other jet and then proceed to camp it. There should be something that, uh, just more powerful than the uh, you know the usual one uh, stationary AA or the Erics's I mean Essex's on the uh, aircraft carrier. I think an easy way to, to in improve the aircraft carrier missions would be to just give a spawn point for the upper Essex, just so that they can at least get up there quickly and put heat on the jets that are camping them. It would help. I mean, uh, maybe if we have an uncapable, but not in a situation like we did on that wake. 
Well, quick note here on the dogfight. Well, at least Aircon is trying all kinds of tactics on. Aircon is trying all kinds of tactics on the F-18. He's slowing down a lot, doing uh, stalling issue uh, tactics. But Elder, he's really precise with that machine gun. He rips him down. He's the F-18 is smoking real bad right now. But on the X6 issue, that only, only goes for one side. Uh, we played day one and day two maps. That's still co going to come into effect when the J10 comes off the carrier. What what happens when the J10 has you know the Almighty Jet plus those X6 guns? There's no way of um, keeping him right. down, even though if he goes down. I, I was really more looking into an anti-camping issue <clears throat> because I think camping is it not only it's a uh, the basis of taking the jet down first and proceeding to camp it and you could be st uh, giving multiple opportunities to steal the jet and uh, giving your, your helicopter room to dominate the field as you're camping all the assets. Yeah. So I mean, it's not only the fact that J-10 is better, but at least if the other jet got up more and more chances on taking them down, you see that these battles aren't always fast. I mean, there is a very incredible uh, fast. But for a lot of other guys, even though the J-10 has won, they're really long, dra dragged out battle. So something that would improve the air combat is just making camping harder. Well, this dogfight is taking a while. we got to give air Con credit. Uh, we're in the close chase cam now. Both jets are slowing down. Looks like Elder is relying a lot on the machine guns. He popped uh, two flare missiles that time, but F-18... Oh, he gets right back on Elder's tail. The F-18 came almost right to the stall. And he's uh, finally... I don't know if it's the first time this matchup. He's chasing the J-10. We'll see how long he can keep up. Not very long. And the J-10 is right back on the F-18. The thing is, once the J-10 knows you're behind him, he can out-turn anything, you know. And it doesn't take that many turns to get yeah. rid of uh, whoever's chasing the J-10. Yeah. That's a real strong point. And Mega's recovering. Oh, when he gets taken down. Wow. Wow. That was a tight turn by the missile. Yeah, the Elder was trying for the machine gun action, but the F-18 was too slow. But he gets him with that good last game, missile, Elder. though. Well fought by uh, <laughs> both sides. A good game, El Air Chronic is a uh, good flying there. So you guys were just uh, mentioning the, the camping issue with the... Uh, sorry, I don't talk much when I fly, but the Essex. I think that would solve this is um, just switch the kind of missiles it fires, because right now it uses the same missiles as planes, which don't track great at all. If you were to give it uh, the Igla missiles, it would help a lot because they track a lot better. Yeah, it's a good point. Uh, the AA vehicle, it doesn't track as good as the IGLA either, right? I mean, the AA vehicle is, it's like a more yeah. Essex, isn't it? Uh, no, it tracks as good as the uh, IGLAs. If you get a lock on with that AA vehicle with no flares, it's going to hit almost every time. Yeah, if you gave them, that would help them a bit. He's right. That would take down a lot more J-10. The Essex is pretty lethal as it is. And uh, back to the issue of the J-10, do you think uh, bringing the, its rocket count down might balance out of it and maybe give it four uh, A to A rockets? I don't know. It's really tough, um, you know, since EA did make this game in all these patches and they did admit the J-10 imbalance, it's really hard for somebody else to change what EA has done and not piss anybody off. Either way, you're going to piss somebody off, but um, just from your experience, uh, was that... Was that like really tough I always found it to be going one on one solely on the J10? That, that was, I thought, as tough as it would have been if I was in a J10 and he was in an F18. Because the Elder is a skilled pilot. Exactly. I mean, if any so two skilled that pilots are going to have a vehicle. significantly long dance before anybody gets killed. But that's what we're, the whole point we're trying to get across here. It depends on the vehicle, not the pilot. Uh, I don't know. I mean, the J-10 has disadvantages too, like it's weaker, can't slow down for shit. You well, have to to overshoot all those, you tried, you tried well, slowing down, down and he's, he's able to That's pick, the only way I could get way to pick you him off my tail, because he's good at following me. I think that's just him, his flying, he's a really good down. follower. Slowing down helps you get them off, but 
what we want is we want to have equal opportunity to get the other plane down. Like, did, can you obviously yeah, I mean, say slowing down, like, help you shoot me down? Like, it's it'll help you get the J-10 off you, sure, but it won't help you take it down. 